it's a, it's a whole different world. It's a different society. Uh, the military is a different structure from society. You're so used to doing something for so long, and then you get out and change, you know, is a big problem, it's a big deal. From proudly serving his country to struggling for survival on the street, Bruce Drummonds is one of many veterans who have found themselves homeless. I think a lot of the vets that I talked to wished, nine times out of ten, they wished they would have stayed in. You know, they got out for whatever reason, you know, being young, thinking the grass is greener on the other side, uh, and they get out and then they're lost. While the most recent count finds about 60 homeless veterans in Wichita, Drummonds insists the number is much bigger. You know, I've been on the streets for like three years, you know, under the bridges, you know, just uh, in the alleys, in the streets. And like one out of three or four guys is a, is a vet, you know. Whether they're 60 years old, whether they're 20 years old, they have some type of a military background. But now Drummonds has a safe, clean place to stay and get a fresh start. He's staying in this house owned by an organization called Passageways. When these guys come here, they have their own bedrooms, they, they have somebody they share it with, but it's their space and it's always waiting for them and it's always safe here and comforting. They can call us anytime and they set their goals and they, they start meeting them. Jennifer Garrison and Susan Molinger formed Passageways last fall. It's a nonprofit aimed at helping homeless vets transition from the streets to permanent housing and productive lives. My personal feeling is, is that they went overseas, most of them went overseas to fight for us, and then they came back and had to continue that fight for housing and for services, and that's not right. And so that's where the passion came in. Um, my family, they're veterans of the, from the Navy, and so the passion started there, um, knowing that they didn't know where to turn. They have done so much for this country, and to listen to their individual stories, and what they lost when they came back, relationships with parents, with siblings, divorces, um, post-traumatic stress syndrome and not having someone there to walk these guys through those issues and let them know that you've, you've been through a lot and you still deserve an amazing life. And let's see if we can get you back up there. There's room for eight to 10 men at a time who are willing to follow rules and attend some type of weekly worship service. Meanwhile, they get help with a lot of different things from the small staff of volunteers. We start talking to him about, you know, what are your goals? Not just finding a job, but what job is going to fuel your fire? What have you done in the past that you just absolutely loved? And then we go from there. We make sure they have their social security cards, birth certificates, um, driver's license, and we get everything updated for them. And then they can take off and just run and, and get a job. We do not charge them for staying here. These people have been an absolute blessing. We have a, a beautiful, beautiful thing here. That's like eight of us, okay, we're all veterans. We all have something in common. We're just like a band of brothers, you know, uh, family. We have cookouts, we go places, we go shopping. You know, it's just a, been a wonderful experience for us. We watch movies on the weekends. Uh, we sit down and we have talks with each other. You know, we ask each other, how you feeling today? You know, kind of like a men's support group meeting. Uh, we go to church. Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we also have uh, Tuesday night Bible studies. So uh, we constantly have something on the schedule. Drummonds hopes to be on his own soon and then start helping other struggling veterans get their lives in order and start living the American dream they fought so hard to protect. For Veterans Coming Home, I'm Jim Grayway.